In today's video, I'm going to speak about becoming an exercise physiologist with a sports science degree. Now, the job in question I'm going to speak about is at a hospital in Coventry as a clinical exercise physiologist. The money's pretty good, it's 25 to 31k, and this is the essential criteria you will need for this role. You're going to need that degree in sports science, so you need that undergrad. You'll also need a BACPR Phase 4 Exercise Instructors Award, I'll put a link to that below. And you also need a Level 3 Gym Instructor or PT qualification. In terms of desirable criteria, it would help if you have a master's. I highly recommend you look at this and I'll put some links below to some master's courses. You also need another level four qualification in relation to that BACPR qualification and also basic accreditation. Again, links to this criteria I will put below. I'll also look now at what Coventry are looking for in a successful candidate. First of all, they're looking for someone that's got applied and theoretical knowledge of long-term conditions related to cardiovascular, metabolic, respiratory, and cancer. What does that mean for you? Well, I recommend that you do a lot of reading away from class, journal articles, books, listening to podcasts, watching videos on YouTube about these areas. Also attend conferences, webinars, speak to your exercise physiology lecturers, pick their brains, and also see if you can get some shadowing opportunities during your undergraduate degree. Move on to the second point now, which is management mentorship experience. Now, you could be watching this as an undergrad asking yourself, how do I get that experience? Well, there's a few simple ways. One could be doing research projects, not just your dissertation, but speak to your lecturers, see if you can get involved with additional projects, take on some leadership there, and also consider stuff like peer-to-peer -peer mentoring of other students or being a class rep. Anything like that, really simple, will go a long way on your CV in the future. Now, you don't just need to go and look at jobs in NHS when it comes to being an exercise physiologist. I do recommend checking out other areas such as Nuffield, Booper, the Irish equivalent of the NHS, which is HSE. These are just a few. In general, I recommend that you go on Indeed, type in exercise physiologist jobs, take notes, understand what you need based on those job adverts, and make plans for the next six months, a year, two years, whatever it is, plan what you need to do to be a successful candidate in the future. Okay, thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna roll out a few more videos in relation to exercise physiology. If there's anything you want me to break down in particular, do let me know on Instagram, at Sports Science Hacks. Okay, thanks for tuning in, and I'll speak to you again soon.